I want to just agree with you on exactly what you said, that I commend all of the transport operators that have been working under such difficult circumstances. But I also welcome the announcement that Transport for Wales is to receive £70 million to help in meeting operating costs during the pandemic. It comes to, on top of the £153 million of emergency funding provided to TFW last year. Could you advise me, First Minister, how much of this funding was and is required for safety measures on trains, such as social distancing, new notices, extra cleaning and sanitisation? And also, First Minister, when do you expect to know how much additional funding TFW will require to meet operating costs as restrictions ease in 2021 to 2022? Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very much for that uh, important supplementary question and indeed for pointing to the millions of pounds that have had to be invested, not simply to keep the train system safe, but to keep the train system running at all. Uh, if during the last 15 months, the train system had had to rely simply on the fare box, as it's called, the amount of money that it raises from the travelling public, then there wouldn't have been a train running anywhere in Wales. And yet we know how vital public transport is to so many of our fellow citizens. So that I think it's £177 million pounds that was made available last year to keep the railways working. And uh, the member is right uh, that there is another £70 million pounds set out in the first supplementary uh, budget that we will provide to go on supporting the system through until the autumn. And it is uh, exactly as the member said. Of course, it supports all those safety measures that are taken every day, but it also supports the simple revenue base of the system while passenger numbers are still suppressed because of the public health emergency. Uh, I think the member is right as well, shall we, that beyond the autumn, uh, we are likely to have to provide further assistance to our public transport system, trains and buses, to allow them to expand the number of passengers they are able to carry uh, safely and to go on operating under the continued restrictions that coronavirus uh, will bring. Uh, we'll work uh, on that together with the industry and we'll bring forward further proposals later during the year. In the meantime, the system does have the confidence that comes with knowing that additional funding has been identified that will help them to continue to operate uh, from now right through until the autumn. Buffy Williams. Yeah, Flores. First Minister, I recently met with Transport for Wales to discuss the treatment